Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit defined multiple paths in a flow from the module flow builder logic. Now, as part of this unit's challenge, we are going to focus on decision element concept, how we can create decision elements in our flow. So here we are going to implement the logic on our opportunity object. This is going to be a record triggered flow, which will only be executed or triggered whenever an opportunity record is created. So let's quickly launch our trailhead playground. I've already done that. Go to setup and select flows. We are going to create a new record triggered flow. Select this, click on this create button. Now here we have to select few of the settings like on which object this flow is going to execute. So in our case, it has to be opportunity. It will be triggered only when a record is created. Rest of the settings, we are going to keep at default. So we are not going to change anything over here. Just click on done. Now we are on our flow builder and we have our basic build of the record triggered flow. Now moving ahead, uh, the next thing that we have to do is we have to use the get record element where we are going to filter out our record based on the name of the price book. So if at all we have a price book which goes by the name standard price book, we are going to fetch that record. So how we can do that, you have to select this plus icon and then click on this get record element. Now the label that we have to give is get price book. API name will be auto populated. Now we have to select the object for which I want my record to be fetched. I want price book record, so I'll select that. Now here I'm going to filter out based on the price book name. If price book name is standard price book, I want that record. So rest of the setting, we are not going to change anything. Just click on done. Now, next thing we have to do is we will now be working on decision element. So how we can do that, just click on this plus icon again and select decision element from here. We are going to label it as check op name. As now, as the name signifies that this decision element name signifies that check op name, which means we are going to check the opportunity name. So we are going to do the same over here as well. So on the left hand side, you can see there there is this outcome order section where currently we have two outcomes. First one is new outcome, which we haven't labeled anything yet. That's why it is coming as new outcome. And the other one is the default outcome. So for the new outcome, we are going to label it as 1500 kilowatt. Now here we are going to check whether the record or you can say the triggering opportunity record that is the opportunity record which we are creating which has executed or triggered this flows execution. So record dot name if the opportunity that we are creating has name which contains 1500 then it is going to follow the path just below this outcome. So once I click on done, I'll show you what will happen. But before that, we have another outcome that we have uh, that we want to check before completing this new decision element. Now, if you will see that for the default outcome, we do not have much of the uh, settings available like we cannot filter out it's just the default outcome but we i want another outcome where i'm going to filter out based on the other criteria so here what we can do is you have to click on this plus icon now this time i want to filter out the opportunity record where name contains 2000 so here i'm going to name it as 2000 kilowatt API name again going to auto populate. Now this time it is filtering out or checking whether the triggering opportunity record contains 2000 in its name. So these are the two outcomes or you can say decision paths it, it is going to create apart from default outcome. So all in all, there are three paths. Otherwise, if you will see based on criteria, there are two which we have used based on name. So now you can see 
the outcome names are coming here 1500 kilowatt 2000 kilowatt and default outcome so now if the condition of 1500 kilowatt is met then in that case what we are going to do is we are going to get the record element we are going to use the get record element so i want to use the get element get record element to which i'm going to label it as get 1500 product again api and i'm going to populate on its own now here i'm going to get the product records so select the object as product now i'm going to filter out the products where name contains 1500 so what we are doing is once we have decided which path it is going to follow which uh, whether the opportunity contains 1500 in its name maybe 2000 kilowatt or something else once that is decided then it is going to follow a certain path so in our case right now we are developing the path for 1500 so once it has confirmed that i have an op triggering opportunity record which is being created which has 1500 in its name then in that case it is going to get product records where we have products that contains 1500 in its name again the filter that we are going to use is same that is we are again checking whether we have any product which contains 1500 in its name rest of the setting we are going to keep as it is we are not going to change anything just click on done now again we are going to use get element uh, below this now let's label it as get 1500 pbe now this time i'm going to get the price book entry record so the object selected is price book entry here i'm going to filter out based on price book id equals price book so this is the the same get record element which we had created at the beginning of this video so i'm going to fetch the id of this price book so you see here we are filtering or getting the records of price book entry where the price book is same as that of the standard price book have, whose uh, id we have fetched by using the get record element at the beginning of this video the very first get record element which we had used so note here we are fetching the price book entry and earlier we had used the very first get element uh, get record element we have used price book where the name is equal to standard price book we were fetching that record now here i'm fetching the price book entry record where the price book is equal to the same id that means where the price book is same as that of standard price book so we are fetching that price book id now here i got my price book entry record where price book is standard price book and we are going to add another condition over here where product to id is same as that of the product 1500 id so before this get record we have used another get record element where we were fetching the product record right where uh, we were fetching the product which contains 1500 in its name so we are fetching here the id of that product and checking if we have any product price book entry record where our price book is equal to the price uh, standard price book and product id is equal to the product which has 1500 in its name i know this can be a little bit confusing but if you will follow this video you'll get it now that's all we have to do we have specified two condition in order to get the price book entry record so let, that's all just click on done now next thing that we have to do is we have to once we have get all these records we have to use a create record element so let's just use that as well 
create records. Now label I'm going to give out as create 1500 of products. API name going to populate on its own. How many records we are going to create? We are going to create only one. We are going to use separate resources and literal values. Now, the object of which I want records to be created is opportunity line item, which goes by the name opportunity product. So this is the opportunity line item. Now, here I'm going to set the values of the record which we are creating, the opportunity line item record which we are creating. So I want to set the very first field, which is opportunity ID. So here you see this is the opportunity line item and this is the opportunity. So this is a lookup field on uh, opportunity line item which associate it to the opportunity to which we want. So I'm going to associate this with the current opportunity record which has triggered this flow execution. Now the next uh, field that we are going to assign default value is price book entry ID. So the value that will be assigned to this field price book entry ID on opportunity product or opportunity line item object will be from the resource that we had created price book entry from get 1500 PBI, PBE. And I want to assign the ID of that. So this ID will get associated. Now, next field I want to set default value for is quantity. I want to set it as one. And another field is total price. So the price that I'm going to set here will be from the price book entry record of 1500. Uh, this was the one, get 1500 PBE. And I want to select the unit price. So whatever unit price value we have on our 1500 price book entry record will be assigned to this total price field of the opportunity product or opportunity line item record that will be created from this element, create record element. That's all we have to do, just click on done. So this was the path for our opportunity where the name contains 1500. So the opportunity that we are creating has 1500 in its name. Then in that case, it is going to first get the product record, then price book entry record, and then it is going to use those two records, product and price book entry to create an opportunity line item record. Now we'll do the same thing for the 2000 kilowatt decision outcome. If at all, we are creating an opportunity whose name contains 2000 in its value. So we are going to follow this path. Now, in this case, we are going to do is select another get record element and going to label it as get 2000 product. Object will be product. And here I'm going to filter out based on name contains 2000. We're going to keep the values default, just click on done. Now, next one is I want to add another get record element where we are going to get the price book entry record. So let's name it as get 2000 PBE. And here I'm going to select price book entry object as I want to fetch the record of price book entry where price book ID equals to the ID of the one which we have fetched at the beginning of this video. That is, uh, we are checking. I want to get only those price book entry records where the price book associated to is the standard price book. And we are storing that price book, standard price book ID value in this 
get record element get price book in the beginning of the video we had created the get record element which is holding the id of the standard price book we have to add another condition as well which is we are going to check whether the product to id equals product from 2000 dot id so we are using this uh to fetch the ID of the product based on the filter we have added in that particular get record element. Rest of the values we are going to keep it as keep as it is. Just click on done. So it is going to use. So we have a little error on the name side. So make it as get. Now we are done. Now this get record element is getting the price book entry record where it is checking the price book ID is same as that of the standard price book and product ID is same as that of the product which we are fetching in this get record element. That is, if we have a product name contains 2000, then it is going to fetch that and it is going it is using the same in this get record element of price book entry now this was the get record element for 2000 kilowatt path now the last thing that we have to do is we have to create records now the label that i'm going to give out here is create 2000 of product we are going to create only one record. We're going to use separate resource and literal values. Object here, we are going to select opportunity product or opportunity line item, in other words. The values that we are going to assign is opportunity ID, record ID. This is the ID uh, of the triggering opportunity record. Then price book entry ID. I want value to be assigned to this new option line item, same as that price book entry from 2000 PB ID. So we are doing the same exact thing as that we have done for 1500 kilowatt for this 2000 kilowatt as well, but there are slight change based on the value. So for 1500, we were using all over 1500. We were checking our records based on that. But for 2000 kilowatt path, we are using 2000. But the logic all in all is almost similar, just the value difference. Here again, we are going to set the quantity to one. And total price field, we are going to take up from the price book entry unit field. So price book entry, we are going to use 2001. Make sure you're using 2001 dot unit price. So all these value will be assigned to these fields of opportunity product. As you can see, the arrow is from right to left. That means these values are, these values on right hand side are going to assign to the fields mentioned on the left hand side. That's all we have to do for our 2000 path. Just click on done. Now this was, the overall thing that we have to implement in this record triggered flow first of all we were we were getting the price book record where the name was equal to standard price book and based on that uh, we were checking our opportunity name whether it contains 1500 or 2000 in its name and if 1500 is there in its name then it is going to follow this path if 2000 is there in the name of the opportunity then it is going to follow this path so this was the whole gist of this challenge. Just click on save and I'm going to save this flow by the label add generator. Let's just copy this name from the challenge. So this is the name. First remove this, otherwise API name will be wrong. Yeah, that's all, just click on save. So our flow has been saved. Let's just go back to our challenge and see whether we have passed it or not. Click on this button. 
Okay, we missed one step which says that the full outcome should be named as none. So I'll just copy this, go back to our flow and go to this decision element, go to default outcome and instead of default outcome, just paste this none over here, click on done, click on save again. Go back here, click on check challenge again. Another error in the ad generator product to named ops though we can't find the latest version activated we forgot to activate our flow just click on this activate button let's go back and click on this button again so this unit is completed see you in the next video with another unit or module till then take care thank you so much